Santa Monica, California in my living room, which has been turned into a fitness studio for the time being. And I'm really stoked to be a part of this and go through some really hard workouts. So if you don't already have water, go grab some water before we get started. Drink a little bit now, making sure we're nice and hydrated. Um, for usual, if you have any questions throughout the workout, uh, shoot us a note in the chat or feel free to just yell out anything at any time. Um, and this workout is not for me, it's for all of you. So if you have feedback, questions, comments, let me know. And I'm really excited to get started. So armbands on. If they're not already on, pop them on your arms. Uh, checking to make sure we have about one finger space. Two is too much. So just pop in there, check that. And as we go throughout our workout, we're gonna be checking our cap refill. So let's go ahead and test that now. Uh, press your thumb into your palm. You'll notice it turns white. If it does not. Oops, sorry, sorry. Uh, I've been muted. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. sorry, go ahead. Yeah. If it does not return to normal within about three seconds, we wanna loosen those bands a little bit. Otherwise we're good to go. So with that being said, everyone hop on up. Let's get started. And all right, so coming up to stand, we're gonna start by going to group level. I'm gonna go to medium. And throughout our workout, the real expert here is you. So I'm gonna push us to do some really hard work, but only you know your body. So if you get tired, if something doesn't feel right, stop, pause, check in, see what makes sense, and listen to your body above and all anything else, okay? So starting to open up the shoulders a little bit, we're gonna take our right arm across the body, gonna do some mobility work, and start to reach your left arm straight up towards the ceiling. And without letting the body shift or move, make a big circle, reach all the way back behind you. And let's take a couple more of those. Your body's gonna wanna shift, don't let it reach up, leading with the thumb, all the way up to the ceiling, shoulder extension, and all the way back behind you, imagine you're swimming backstroke. So let's take two more of those, big reach up. All the way back behind you, keep making that circle bigger, opening up the shoulder socket, and last one, all the way up. Move it around. If you're experiencing crunching, cracking, that's totally cool, as long as it doesn't hurt. Other side, left arm across the body, straight up with that arm, fully extend. Reach all the way back, move through it. I got a nice crunch there. Good, couple more. See if you can activate your muscles to really lengthen out that arm. Go for precision over speed. Move through the range of motion. We'll take two more. A little bit of core engagement, so we're not shifting. We're really isolating that joint. And last one. Move all the way through it. And then just go ahead and give the shoulders a roll out. Release them. Good, move them around the other way. Let's dive into the neck a little bit. So same thing what you did with the shoulders, but this time with the neck, I'm gonna come down so you can see me. Tuck your chin into your chest. Start to drop right ear to right shoulder. And then imagine you're dragging your head along your back, making a big old circle, work through that range, and then pull the chin back into the chest. Well, let's do another one, same direction. Right ear to right shoulder. Imagine you're dragging the back of the head along the back as you come through, left ear to left shoulder, and back through center and other way. Left ear to left shoulder, keep pulling your shoulders down. Move through that range all the way. If you feel stickiness, this is especially why we do this. And back through center, and last one. Move through that range, making sure we're breathing. And coming back in again, shoulders out. And let's start to do some work here. So wrist curls, arms extend out, make fists. If you have light weights, you can add them in here, but already we can start to see those veins, those muscles starting to work. So curl it in and out. And when using the cap, so we always want to start with arms smallest muscles before biggest muscles. So starting to work the forearm. We go in and out. So counts of two. One, two, out, two. One, two, out, two. And we're going to do 10 more seconds here. Good. 
And now notice how the rest of your body is starting to respond to doing this. Are we arching out our backs? Are we engaging our core? So a little engagement of the glutes, really isolating the arms for five, four, three, two, and rest. Shake them out. Roll the wrists out. All right. We've got another set of those. So take a quick break. Move everything around a little bit. All right. If you have questions, feel free to add them into the chat. I see someone's come up with something already. Steve can answer all those. And we're going to set up for a second set. So arms extend out fully. Make those fists. Really squeeze. Activate all your muscles. Curl in two, out two. In two, out two. And we continue. 20 seconds of this. This is the last one we're doing. Make it meaningful. Feeling that squeeze, that pressure. And last 10. Out two. In two, out two. We have five and four, three and two. Last one and release. Give the fingers a wiggle. Steve, if you want to answer questions here, if anyone has anything you'd like to ask to start off, go for it. Our yeah. next exercise is going to be a tricep dip. There are two options for how to do this. If you have a chair close by, go ahead and grab it. Otherwise, we're going to use the floor. So option number one, using the floor. We're going to come down to sit. My fingertips are pointing towards my butt. And I press my bottom off the floor. So activate those glutes. Now you have two options here. You bend the elbows, press back up. Slightly easier. If you want harder, straight leg. Get those hips up. Bend down and up, down and up. Now, final option. If you happen to have a chair close by, ta-da, you can use a chair. Okay? So we drop into it and lift. Okay? So we have three sets. 30 seconds each. So set yourself up, fingertips pointing back. I'm actually going to use the floor. I prefer that one. And I'm going to do the first second with you. So if your cycle's ended, pop that back on. We'll set it together. Hips come up. First 30 seconds, we are going. So really drop the elbows down. Two, up, two. Down, two, up, two. And keep, keep moving. Good. Making sure to keep those hips up the whole time. We don't want to sag, giving the glutes a squeeze. Down and up. Elbows pointing straight back behind us. And up. And I'm going to check in and see how everyone's going. We have 10 more seconds here. Do your best. I like to see those arms working. For five, four, three, two, and rest. Go ahead and take the right arm across the body. And switch, take the left arm across the body. My band's slipping a little bit, gonna adjust that one. Good. And we'll set up for our second set. So if you did the first set with knees bent, you can do the same thing or challenge yourself even more. Try the straight legs. 30 seconds, we are going. And up, down, and up. And if you wanna add speed here, go for it. We're already used to the movement. This is when we get to really start to work into it. I'm checking in, seeing how everyone's doing. All right. Looks good. We're breathing, we're working. And we have 10 more seconds. <laughs> and five, four, three, two, and one. Set your bottom down, roll the shoulders out. 20 seconds rest. If you want to grab a sip of water, you can do that here. All right. Now for this next set, if you really want to challenge, you're going to do half of it with one leg lifted. Okay? So you can go straight legs or bent legs. So rooting the wrist underneath your shoulders. Press your hips up. We have 30 seconds. If you want to do a leg lifted, halfway starting now. Down and up, down and up. So really working those baby muscles first. And down and up. And keep going. And 
switch legs if you're doing the single leg. Awesome. Last 10 seconds. Woo! We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Come on down to sit. Wiggle everything out. Grab some water. If you have questions, give us a shout now. And I saw that there's a question in the chat that says, should I pause the capture in between sets? Steve, you want to take that one? Yes, yes. Um, no, you don't have to. Ideally, the you're, you're doing the cut cycle throughout this entire program. If it is getting too tough, no problem. You can, you can shut it off. But the whole idea of cut cycle is that it's continuously um, going. Uh, I hope that answers uh, Anthony's question. Cool. Yeah. Does anyone else have questions here? Feel free to give us a shout. All right, we're gonna keep rolling. So our next exercise is a forearm plank with shoulder extension. So I make my way into plank on my forearms. We're doing three sets. The first one, I wanna see slow motion. Reach and down, reach and down. And I want you to try and get your arms in line with your shoulders. Hips should not be wiggling. So super slow pace. First 30 seconds, everyone set yourself up. We are going. Reach and down, reach and down. So our core is activated, our glutes are activated, the whole body is working to keep our body stable, but we're really isolating the shoulders with the band, supporting the weight of the body. And down, reach and down. It's really slow pace, moving in slow motion. All right, we have five, four, three, two, and rest. Set the hips down, optional spine stretch here, pressing the chest off the floor. There are different variations of this depending on how bendy your back is. Take a big breath. And we're gonna launch right into the next set. Check your cycle. If it's not going, reset yourself up. Come back into that forearm plank. Now this next set is moderate. So picking up the pace a little bit, reach and reach, reach and reach. We're going and my body stays completely stable. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna check in, see how we're doing. I like it. I see Devin with a quicker pace, we're good. Everyone's camera is angled up because we're all on our forearms. Awesome. Last five, four, go Livy, three, two, and rest. Set your hips down, catch your breath. If you want to press back into a child's pose for a shoulder stretch, you can. Whew. And if you're in child's pose, give the head a rock side to side, let the neck release. And we're going to start to shift our weight forward for our final set of forearm plank shoulder extensions. This one we're moving as fast as we possibly can. And I want you to count how many reaches you get in and we're going to give them a shout at the end of the set. But Sounds good. your body has to stay still, and I'm going to check, all right? Last 30 seconds. Set yourself up. Forearm plank, and go. Move, move, move. Get those arms going. Yeah, as fast as you can. Nice. I see Kaden. Go, Adam, go. You know this move. <laughs> cool. I love it. All right, last 10 seconds. Keep counting as fast as you can go. We have eight, seven, six, five, woo, four, three, two, and rest. Awesome job, everyone. Come up to sit. Let's unmute for a second. Yep. Let me Everybody's get some numbers. Unmute. How many did we do? 32. 32. Woo. I love it. 40. 40. Oh, 20. 40. 40. 40. You got it. Did anyone beat 40? 33. Nice. 30. Awesome. Good job, guys. <laughs> Whew. How are we doing so far? Let's check. Check those palms. How are we doing? Everybody's hands should be nice and pink and rosy right now. <laughs> Feeling it. All right. Let's go ahead and give the shoulders a release. So come on up to stand. Class.
Sorry, sorry, let me uh, unmute you, sorry. Sorry. Put your arms up and off the back of your body, pressing your fist back behind you. So let's make it a more active stretch. Drop your fist down towards your back, and then press them up and back behind you. We're gonna do that two more times. Release them down, press them back, release them down, press them back and hold, lifting the chest and fist. Really make it active for five, four, three, and two. Release, wiggle it out, and let's do some push-ups. And I didn't announce this at the beginning of class, but the good news is this is a burpee-free workout today. So as much as I know, some of us love them, some of us hate them. We'll revisit the burpees another day. We're gonna do a full workout without them. So push-ups for our next round. We have three sets of 30 seconds. So your first set, and it's totally fine if you do these on your knees or off your knees, is normal. So we just go down and up, making sure that our hips stay in line with our shoulders. We don't want to sag, we don't want to pike. So first 30 seconds is normal. Second 30 seconds, I want you to go in slow motion. So think down, two, up, two. And then our final 30 second set, we're gonna drop into it, hold, three, two, one, push back up. Drop into it, three, two, one, push back up. Little isometric hold at the bottom. So set yourself up. You can be on your knees or in plank position. First 30 seconds, normal push-up, and go. All right. And making sure that our core is just engaged with our arms, really working the chest, the muscles of the back, maybe even giving those glutes a little squeeze. Yes, I'm loving this form. We have 10 more seconds here. Good. Making our way back up in five, four, three, two, and 20 seconds rest. Grab water, you can drop the knees, rock the hips side to side. Good. And 10 more seconds rest here. We're going to jump right back into the second set. So everyone start to make your hands and knees. If you were in plank position, come up into plank. This next set, low motion push-ups. So really activating those muscles. Time is going. We go down. Two, up, two. Down, two, up. If you can make them even slower, I want to see you do it. Nice. Y'all go. That's awesome. Go, Jeff. I love it. Last 10 seconds. Good. See if we can do one more for five, four, three, two, and rest. Everyone come down, hands and knees. Option to take a sip of water here or a shoulder stretch. So notice that my hips stay on top of my knees. I start to walk my arms forward, letting my chest drop down. And I want to press so much into the mat that my chest does not touch the floor. So really getting into the shoulders. And if you're taking the stretch, take, say, three big breaths here. And then start to walk your hand back towards the body. Set of push-ups. So we have an isometric hold at the bottom. So come on up. We'll take the first few together. We lower down. Hold three, two, one, push back up. My time has been going. Yes, and I'd rather see good form then off the knees, but our hips start to sag. We really don't want to tax our back here. Good. Last five seconds. See if you can get one more holding at the bottom. We have four, three, two, and rest. Everyone, come on up and sit. And let's give ourselves a preliminary round. Let's give yourself a little round of applause here. Good job. Good job, self. We can't really high-five each other, so we're going to just applaud. And we're going to take a pause here 
um, and then switch out the bands to the legs. So if anyone has questions, comments, anything, let's give it a shout and we'll switch out our bands. Okay. I unmuted everybody. If anybody has a uh, question or comment, uh, go ahead and shout it out. Dan, as our uh, resident Navy SEAL, how was that? How were those slow push-ups? Nice. <laughs> okay, good. Good. Bonnie, how was those push-ups? Good. Okay. Jack Ryan, how was that? Lots of fun. Good, good. Devin, you're still smiling. Huh? You're still smiling. That's good. Yeah. Okay, on the legs, just remember, um, for all of you who wear Speedos, just right below the Speedo line. Um, so it's up at an angle on your groin as high as possible. You want to you want to get a finger in between your band and your leg, but not two fingers or three fingers or four fingers. So it's on snugly, not tight. All right. Steve, can you hear me? Yes, I can. Awesome. Had a momentary technical difficulty. Okay. So we've got the bands on the legs. And I like to think of it kind of like being a rock climbing harness, slightly angled up. And for our first exercise, for the legs, I'll give everyone a second to get going. I'm going to demonstrate. It's going to be a lunge. I'm going to go ahead and angle that down. So we're going to do a set of reverse lunges. So I like to take my hands on my hips. We're only going to do the left side to start. It's a normal reverse lunge. So you step back and rise up. Step back and rise up. And that's our first 30 seconds. So let's go ahead. Leg bands are on, set your cycle. You're not already there. And I got it, I got it. Uh, you unmuting, sorry. Yeah, it's okay. okay. Actually, before we do the lunges, let's start with some smaller muscles. So let's get our heart rates up. So we've been doing a lot of like isometric holds. So we're gonna do some imaginary jump ropes to start. So everyone imagine you're holding a jump rope and we're going to do 30 seconds of jumping. So let's go ahead and get high off the toes and just get up. So we're going to start to wake up the calf muscles and we're going to start just jump roping up and down. And I like to get my arms going too. Good. We've got 10 more seconds here. See if you can get really high off those ground. Heels up, toes off the floor. And then we're immediately going to go into our second set of jump rope. 30 seconds, we're going side to side. Starting with the smaller muscles first. All right. See if you can go a little bit higher. As little contact with the floor as possible. We have 10. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and shake it out. And we're actually gonna do that one more time. So give the legs a shake. And let's jump right into our second set. We're just going up and down, 30 seconds. And I like what Steve and John demonstrated last week. They said, imagine you're swinging your rope 
plank each time you jump. Maybe even jump roping backwards. And last 10. Good. And we're immediately going to go into side to side. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Side to side. Let's go. We're all jumping around our houses. <laughs> all right. See if you can go a little bit higher. And last 10 seconds. Woo. Get off the floor. We have five, four, three, two, and rest. Grab a sip of water if you want. And to spice up our workout a little bit, we're going to toss in a stretch. It's called the world's greatest stretch. So once you're ready, go ahead and come down onto your hands and knees. And for the world's greatest stretch, we come into plank. I step my left foot outside my hand. I drop my forearm down and then I reach. So we're gonna do one side at a time. So let's do a couple together. So in plank, opening up the hips, we step our left foot outside of our hand, drop the left forearm towards the floor and then reach out for a spinal twist and step it back. And we're gonna do 30 seconds of this. I'm gonna be demonstrating. And as you reach out for that final twist, see if you can work towards stacking your shoulders. So we're opening up the hips, hip stretch, spine stretch, especially good for any golfers, tennis players. Step it up, drop it down, and reach. And back. Step it up, drop the forearm, and reach. And step it back, and let's do one more. And down, and reach, and right into the other side. Step the right foot up, drop the right forearm down, reach the arm up for a twist, and then step back into plank. And we're going to keep going 30 seconds on the right side. Because every part of our body is moving, our heart rate stays slightly elevated here. And we also get a nice active stretch and some mobility work. Step that up and down, reach and step it back. All right, let me see how people are doing. We have 10 more seconds here. And last five, four, three, two, and buddy in plank. Press your hips up and back, downward facing dog. We're taking a stretch and just let your head hang, shake it yes. And bending alternate knees, give the legs a pedal out, big hamstring stretch before we dive into our lunges, which will really be firing up the glutes and hamstrings. And pressing both hips back up behind you. Take a generous bend in the knees. Walk your hands back to meet your feet. Roll on up to stand. And now we can dive into the work. So hands to hips. We're gonna start with the left leg only. 30 seconds, single leg lunges. We step it back and rise. Step it back and lift. And time is going. I'm gonna check in to see how everyone's doing. All right. Cool. I like it. And as we're doing our lunges, I'd like us to try and keep our spine nice and straight. We don't want to round out the back in the name of strengthening the glutes and the hamstrings. We have five, four, three, two, and one. All right, right into our second set. This time, we lunge back and up. If you'd like to add something extra, you're going to pull your knee into the chest. Lunge back and up and back. Time is going, and we have a little treat at the end of our set, we're gonna work into it at the bottom. Lunge back, pull the knee in. And back, pull it in. Check your spine, is it straight? Good, keep going for five, four, three, and two. Lunge the leg back and hold it. Now, little pulses at the bottom. Get that knee down towards the floor. Squeezing everything. 
Yes, even lower. We have 10, 9, 8, 7, last 6, core strong, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Step the foot up, shake it out, and release. 20 seconds. While we take our rest, I'm going to demonstrate the last set. You're going to lunge back, tap the floor, kick. Lunge back, tap the floor, and kick. So starting to work the balance. If the kick doesn't work for you today, you can lunge back, pull the knee in. Lunge back, pull it in. Otherwise, add that kick in there. Final 30 seconds for this side, we are going. Lunge back, tap the floor, and kick and back, and kick. Check your spine, is it straight? And up, and back, and up. Keep going guys, awesome, half done. Let's see if you can pick up the pace here. Maybe go, go a little bit faster, get your heart rate going. Yeah, John. <laughs> Good, in 10, we're gonna lunge back and hold it. We have five, four, three, two. Lunge back and hold, little pulses, 10, nine, eight, Seven, six, five, four, three, two, pause. Pull the knee into the chest, hold it. Balance work. Awesome. If you can, kick that leg straight, bend it, kick it straight, and hold. And set the foot down. Good job. We're going to take a slightly extended rest here before we do the other side. Grab your water. Strength. Balanced core all in one. Steve, do you have anything you want to toss in here? Thank you very much. I don't have the balance <laughs> of you do. Uh, let's see if there's any questions here. No. Doing all right? Okay. Yeah. All right. Second side. So this time, check your cycles. All right, right leg. If you want an extra challenge for this side, you can do it with your arms straight up. Otherwise, keep your hands by your side. So, normal lunges, 30 seconds with the right side. Back and up, back and up. And you can go as fast as you want. Back and up, as long as you keep that good form. And up, back. And we are half done. All right. Good. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Cool. Shake it out. Next set. Option of the hands down or arms up again. We go back, pull the knee in. Kick it back, pull it in. Otherwise, normal lunges. Second set, go. I love it. If you're reaching your arms up above you, try and keep them really straight. Get into that shoulder mobility. And back, kick it up. Yes. In 10 seconds, we're going to kick it back and work into it. We have five, four, three, Two, kick it back and hold, pulse it up and down. Off the floor, towards the floor. For 10, squeeze the right side of your glute, get the chest even higher. We have five, four, three, two, and one. Step it up before we do our last set. Optional hamstring stretch. Take your hands to opposite shoulders. Keeping the legs straight, think about keeping the spine straight. We hinge at the hips. Active hamstring stretch. Don't let your spine round out. Come back up. If this is too big of a spine stretch, too big of a tug on your lower back, take a little bending in your knees. Hinge forward. And rise back up. And two more. And we hinge. And lift. This time we're going to hinge and hold it. Reach your fingertips back behind you. Draw your shoulders down the back body. Keep dropping your belly button towards the floor. Feel that stretch across the back of the hamstrings for five, four, three, two. Come on up, roll the shoulders out. 
And let's do our final set of lunges. So if you have a mat, step to the top of it. Final set. We lunge back, tap the floor, kick it up. And reach and kick. Reach and kick. Better yet, make it fast. Down and up, down and up. Time is going. 20 more seconds. It doesn't have to be fast. Better to practice your balance than just fling your body around. Woo! Awesome, Bonnie. Good job. All right. I like it, Devin. Good. Everyone lunge back and hold it. We're working into it. Last one. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Smooth transition. Try and pick the knee up into your chest. Hold it. Balance. Use your core. Kick it straight and in. Out and in. Last two and one. Hold it and set it down. Grab your water. And so a fun fact that I've been learning about the katsu is that by using this device and engorging our muscles, we're actually using 90 to 98% of our muscle fibers. Now, can anyone tell me what percentage we use when we're doing a normal workout? I've unmuted everybody. 70. 70, close. I'm not, not going to give it away until we have three guesses. Hey. 65. 65, nice. 65. Do you want to give it away? Yes, it's between 60 and 68. So uh, at least two of you were spot on. Close. Nice. I love it. How, why were we not on you? How are we doing? How are we feeling? I heard a good out there. Tired. <laughs> and a little smoke. <laughs> All right. Let's get the heart rate back up. This is our heart rate set. We're going to do it. I got a, sorry. All right, everyone up. Check your palms. All right, so 30 seconds each. We have jumping jacks, ice skaters, and side kicks. So jumping jacks are as so. And go ahead and jump right on into it with me. So jumping jacks, 30 seconds, and go. Get those arms, those legs moving really fast. Go, 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 go. Yeah. Woo. See if you can get even higher off the floor. Action. After this, we're going to go right into ice skaters. I'll demonstrate in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. All right. Step one foot back, tap, and switch, and switch, and switch. As fast as you can go, go. Side to side. Yeah, get moving. Heart rate is elevated. And if you can, keep your chest up. We don't want slouchy shoulders. And reach, and reach. After this, we're going into side kicks. Open up those hips, last 10. Get that back foot all the way back behind you, big old jump. Five, four, three, two. Now, we're gonna kick out to the side. Kick, kick, kick. Option out of punch. And go, 30 seconds. Get those legs as high as you can. How well can we control our body? Up, up, kick, kick, yeah. Standing leg is straight and stable. Last 10, even faster, go, 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 yes, we have five, four, three, two, and one. Shake it all out. And everyone take your hands down to your thighs. Walk your hands part way down your legs, pedal out the legs. Walk the fingers all the way down towards the ankles. Roll up as slowly as you can. And let's move into our next exercise, which is a Kazakh squat. So I see that there's a question. I, no, I, I got the, uh, we're going to go over the uh, new cycle 2.0 for people who want to do this afterwards. So, 
Go ahead. Uh, okay. So the child's leg squat is different than a normal squat because we step the legs really wide. And instead of just going side to side, and that's a really important part of working out so that we keep our hips and our body open. So step your feet really wide. And I want to see, right, like get your butt back and press back up all the way to the left leg and press back up. 30 seconds, heels stay rooted into the floor, chest stays up, over and up, and side and up. And that alternate leg stays nice and straight. So we're getting a stretch here while we do this. And up, and down, and up. Try and get your butt towards your heel, why not? Last five, four, three, two, and one. If you have weight at home and you want to add it, you can do that here. For our next step, try and take your hands behind your head. Now, the natural temptation here is to round out the spine. Keep pressing your elbows back, core is engaged, so our low back is protected. 30 seconds, side to side. Down and up, and work into it. Get the butt down and up. If you can't go very low, that's exactly why we do this, to practice the movement, to get stronger and more limber. Yes. Good. Last 10. Good. Pressing into the heels to come back up to center for five, four, three, two, one. Roll it out. Take your hands to your hips, draw some circles. Move around. We're doing the hula. And move around the other way. And final set. Arms up. And we are going. One side and over. Other side and over. Try and keep your arms in line with your ears the whole time. If this is too much on your back, you can take your hands down to your hips. That's fine. If you had a weight at home you wanted to use, you could hold it between your hands up above your head. We are half done here. Get low. And down. And up. All right, everyone bend into the left knee and hold it. Pulse it up and down. We have 10, 9, 8, 7. Weight is in the heel. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Switch sides. Other one. Keep those arms up. Yes, for eight, seven, butts back, six, five, four, yellow, three, two, and one. Release it. Heel, toe the feet together. Roll the shoulders out. Rock side to side. Let's keep the heart rate up. 30 seconds. Jumping jacks, go. Faster. Light on those feet. <laughs> yeah. All right. In five, we're going to go into ice skaters. We have three, two, one. Ice skaters, side to side. Go. Chest up. Get low. I like it. So you can get a hop in your step. A modification is you don't have to hop, you step and reach. Last 10. In five, side kicks. We have four, three, two, and one. Side kicks. Out and out. Punch is optional. Reach and kick. And kick and kick. Yes. Let me see how we're doing. Get those legs up, even higher, come on. <laughs> Work the outer hips. Last 10. Legs all the way up. Woo, five, four, three, two, and rest. Grab your water.
we have two more exercises to do here. A Spider-Man push-up and some core work, and then we'll round out our day. So for Spider-Man push-up, I like the thumbs up. <laughs> Ladybug Lisa, you're making my day with your name. <laughs> All right, so check your cycle. Check your palms. And for our Spider-Man push-up, we're going to start coming back into the plank position. And we're going to go, instead of mountain climbers, we're going to go knees to triceps. Tap, tap. Try and get your knees up as high as you can. If you want to add speed here, you can. But I'd rather you find contact with your knees and your arms than just go for speed. So we're actively opening up our hips, which is preparing us for the second phase of this exercise. So, everyone into plank position. 30 seconds, knees to triceps, go. Tap, tap, and tap. And you can always do this on hands and knees. It doesn't have to be in plank if your arms are getting tired. And if you have sensitive wrists, you can come on to your fifth. Or hold weight. Good, let's get those knees all the way up there, yes. Yes, I like it. <laughs> Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Drop your knees. Take a look at the screen for the second iteration of what we're gonna do. So, I bring my knee up, I push up, step it back, switch sides. Knee up, push up, step it back. Alternative on your knees. Knee up, push up, and back. Second 30 seconds, and go. So in plank, on our knees, we go up, push out, find that contact, step back, and switch, push up, and you see your triceps, that's fine. Just pull them up as high as you can. So our obliques are working, our chest is working, shoulders, back, and our outer hips. Awesome. All right. Last five. Four, three, Two, go, Sophia, and one. Rest. Come on down to sit. Let's get a brief shoulder stretch. Take your right hand between your shoulder blades and encourage that elbow back behind you. And then switch sides. Left elbow, left hand between the blades. Press the elbow back using the back of your head to grow taller. And release it, final set. Come down onto hands and knees. We're gonna add a little pulse of the knee in towards the elbow at the end here. So it's a normal, same thing we did before. We go up, push up, step it back and switch sides. But at the end, we're gonna add a little pulse up. All right, final set and go. So get that knee to the tricep, take the push up, step it back, and switch. Awesome. All right. Good. All right, everyone step into plank. Pull the right knee up to the tricep, little kick, up and up. 10, nine, eight, seven, strong arm, six, five, four, Three, two, right into the other side. Get it up. Ten, nine, eight, seven. The body's still. Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Hop right up. Final set of our heart elevator for the core. For the core. For the heart. And then we're going to do our core. Jumping jack. 30 seconds. Go. Yes, high off those feet. Even doing it with us. <laughs> All right, in five, we're gonna go into ice skaters. We have four, three, two, ice skaters side to side. Press your hips back. And move. You can step back or you can jump. Chest up. Go at it. 
We have 10. Last five, four, three, two. Come up to stand, side kick. Get those legs up really high. Kick and kick, kick and kick. Add that reach. Go for control. Maybe you even do it in slow motion. How well can you control your own body? Last 10. In five, four, three, two, and one. Final water break. Then we're going to do our core, and we are done for today. Take a sip. Questions, comments? Yeah, you got everybody really winded. That's very good. <laughs> I'm really winded, so yeah. that's a good thing. Uh, John, how are you doing? Up. Oh. He's got a. I see John's a, dog, so I think he's doing well. Yes. Uh, on this last one, um, how many seconds is it or minutes? It's 90 seconds total. Okay. So it's 30 seconds of three different things, and we're going straight through. If you need to take pauses, take the pause. It's a lot of core work. Okay. So why don't uh, since this this is the last uh, set, right? Last exercise. Mm -hmm. Why don't, you, why don't we take the, uh, our bands or our unit and put it a, one unit higher if you can. If, you, if that's too much, that's okay. So if you're on medium, go to high. If you're on low, go to medium. Go ahead. All right. And the nice thing is, is we get to do the final set on our back. So go ahead and set those bands up. And we're going to come down onto our backs, either on the mat or the floor, towel, whatever you're using. And the first 30 seconds, I call them ins and outs. So when you're on your back, pull your knees into your chest, lift your head, neck, and shoulders, reach your arms down by your side. Everything is in. Then we go out and in. Out and in. 30 seconds, we are going. Out and in. Out and in. Now one thing I want us to be mindful of is that our spine stays in contact. With the practicals, a holding nine, full 90 seconds of off in four, three, two, and one. Hands behind the head, right knee into the chest, Bicycle, crisscross, side to side, and go. Good, keep pressing those elbows back, creating space across the chest. So we're not crunching the neck, side to side. And as you're doing this, really lengthening the alternate leg out. We don't want floppy legs. We want conscious movement. And in five, we go into our last, part of the series, which I call butt steps. So, everyone pull your knees into your chest. Extend the legs up towards the ceiling. 30 seconds, get your butt up and off the floor. Up and down. And if you can't do it, do it until you can. Try your best. Some variation is better than no variation. Movement is movement. Up and down. Using every part of our core, we are more than half done here. Last thing we're doing today. If you want more of a challenge, reach your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Balance on your shoulders for 10. Bones transfer five, four, three, two, and one. Everyone pull your knees to the chest, rock side to side. Now let's slow it all down. Start to guide both of your knees over to the left, keeping the backs of both shoulders on the floor. And we're gonna take three big breaths here. Letting your heart rate slow down. Letting there be space across your chest to the backs of the shoulders, release into the floor. You can give your head a rock side to side no, releasing the neck. And pull the knees back through the center, drop them over to the right. And start to observe the rise and fall of your chest with each breath. See if you can make that pace a little bit slower, a little bit deeper. Three breaths here. And then pull your knees back through center. 
rock and roll up and down along your spine a couple times and come up to sit, extend the legs long, hamstring stretch, pedal out the knees, bending alternate knees. My cycle's making noise in the background. It's okay, it's a cycle noise. It's a cycle, it's supposed to make noise. <laughs> and then go ahead and let your forehead drop towards your thighs. Give us your head a shake, yes, uh-huh, you did a good job. And as slowly as you can, roll up one vertebrae at a time to sit. Reach your arms up. Bring your hands together and give yourself a big old round of applause. Good job, everyone. Awesome work. Thank you so much for coming out to work out with me. If you have any feedback, questions, comments, shoot them my way, and I'll turn it over to Steve. Thank you much, uh, very much, everybody. Um, we're going to uh, post it with this uh, session was... Um, recorded and we're going to post it at katsublog.com uh, katsu and if you have any questions we'll put our email in the chat room and we can do it um we had uh, all right let me just uh, mute everybody here uh so what we'll do is we had planned to do this monday wednesday friday but We've had a lot of people um, to want more. So we're going to do this Monday through Friday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, same time. So we'll do it at 3 p.m., same time. Okay. Thank you very much. Send the emails, and I'll, I'll put it right here, the email. And uh, we'll just uh, see you next time, tomorrow at 3 o'clock, uh, California time. Awesome. Thanks, Stephen. Hey. Thanks, Laura. That was great. <laughs> all right. Take care, all. Thank Bye. you. Thank Bye. you.